Hi and welcome. The last time I explained the binary operators and now I want to show you how you can use the AND operator to reduce the resolution of a modulation source. So let's choose for instance source 1 as the constant value or let's say this is our modulation and source 2 is the constant value which we can use directly in the modifier slot and our modifier is now the end operator between our original source the LFO and the constant value and as you can see there is actually no result for this because our constant value is zero let's have a look on the calculations Yeah, as you can see, everything is zero. When you are asking the questions here, everything is zero. But also, for all other values, the questions are resulting in zeros. But when you are changing the constant value you can see that suddenly the modifier result is a quantized version of the source because for some values of the constant value you get zeros in the least significant bits and these bits are the fine changes of the value. So for instance, the last bit can the change the overall value only by one. And the second last bit can change the complete value only by two. As you can see in the calculation actually. And with this trick, you can create very rough modulations. So for instance, when I'm not choosing an LFO, but an envelope, you can see that you get very rough changes of the attack and decay. So this would sound very, very digital-like. I used this trick, for instance, in sounds which I wanted to be similar to a PPG, because especially early digital synthesizers had very low resolutions for modulation signals and with this trick you can imitate this behavior of, um, of a synthesis engine. I hope you enjoyed this trick. If so, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.